Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Strawberry Blow Papatini. One of the best blended drinks that we make. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. It is. It's like eating a strawberry blow pop. Right. Yeah. How many licks does it take? That's a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> but it's the same idea. It's probably the same company, I would think. Right. <laughs> Did you have Tootsie Pops growing up? Oh, yeah. 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 Those were good. I remember the owl. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it tastes like the outside of the strawberry blow pop is, of course, strawberry flavored. Mm -hmm. Right? So we've got strawberries for that. Yep. And then we've got this bubblegum vodka, which takes over for the inside of the blow pop. Right. And you're golden. Mm -hmm. We add ice to this drink. Three quarters of a cup. It's about four square ice cubes. Yeah. If you're using the kind from your refrigerator, the hat or a half moon, you want about eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is not a slushy drink. Yeah. Like a pina colada. Right. But there's a little bit of ice just to cool it down. Mm -hmm. Sort of absorb some of the sugar. Right. Right. But it's not going to be one of those that gives you a cold headache. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. <laughs> so for this, you need six fresh strawberries. All right. If you have gigantic ones, use four, right? If you mm -hmm. have frozen ones, which are always like the teeniest, tiniest ones that no one will buy at the supermarket, <laughs> you need eight to ten. Right. Half of a banana, mm -hmm. and that's just to give a little creaminess yeah. to the drink. Yep. Yep. Two ounces of the bubblegum vodka. We use one and a half tablespoons of sugar mm -hmm. and a half ounce of coconut cream. That's right. And the coconut cream just sort of brings out all the other flavors of the other yeah. characters, particularly the strawberries. Believe it or not, I don't know why. Yeah. It adds a little bit of sweetness and it just makes everything else sing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we put all of that into our blender. We're using our Vitamix here, but you can use a bar blender, right. obviously, as well. And if you use frozen strawberries, not only are gonna, they're going to be a little bit smaller, so you're going to need more, yeah. um, but they might be a little more tart, so you might want to look at adding a little bit yeah. more sugar, too. Yeah. Now, all frozen strawberries are not the same as we've learned. Mm -hmm. So some are fine. Mm -hmm. Some need an extra half a tablespoon of sugar. Right. So just sort of play that by ear. Yep. All right. So we got six strawberries. We're going to throw in half of a banana. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. We have um, coconut cream, mm -hmm. half an ounce. You're going to do that while I put in one and a half ounces. I'm sorry, one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar. And rich. Yep. There and then go. we're going to do two ounces of your coconut vodka. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, bubblegum vodka. <laughs> I don't know where my mind is today. There we go. Nice. All right. In goes our ice. Um, and you want to just blend it until everything is broken up mm -hmm. and the ice is all crushed. If you're using the Vitamix, that's level eight for 10 seconds. If you have just a bar blender, I don't know because I can't remember how that works when we had that. <laughs> so we'll just pulse right. this for 10 seconds. All right. Take that off of there. Nice. We're going to pour that into a martini glass. I can smell that bubble gum. Yeah, that's nice. This is a great drink. Mm -hmm. And we'll put in the center just a little bit of whipped cream that will float on top. And that's mainly used to support our strawberry blow pop. Of course, we got to put one of those on. I know. That's what makes it half the fun. <laughs> it rests there on the cream, and then the end will rest on the rim of the glass. And there you have your delicious, fun strawberry blow popatini. Enjoy. Cheers.